Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting. Alpha Training and Consulting is a company that prepares students for their ASQ certification exams. We've been doing it for over 20 years. Today, we're going to talk about the CQE certification. As you can see, I've passed most of the ASQ certification exams. Uh, it's a great program, and I recommend anyone to go out and get an ASQ certification because it will help you in your career. I'm also a Lean Bronze certified and a Shingo Award winning author. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the CQE certification and what you have to do to uh, the requirements you have to meet to sit for that exam. First of all though, the CQE is a great certification. Um, if I had kids that were interesting in going into the career that I have, that would be the first certification I'd recommend is the Quality Engineering Certification through ASQ. Now, I had a friend, he couldn't get a job, and so he decided since he had some downtime, he'd go ahead and get his CQE certification. He did, and he put it on his resume, put it out there. The next day, he had three calls wanting to interview him. The first interview, they gave him a job offer, and he accepted it. That's why I like CQE. It's very, very powerful. There's a lot of respect out there for the CQE. So let's go to the website and see what the requirements are for taking this wonderful certification exam. All right, here we are at the ASQ website and the requirements. Uh, the biggest part of the requirements is work experience and education, of course. Candidates must have eight years of on-the-job experience. So it's not easy getting the CQE certification. You must have eight years of on-the-job experience, and that on-the-job experience must be in one or more of the areas of the Certified Quality Engineer Body of Knowledge which is pretty broad, so if you've been working for eight years, chances are you meet those requirements. A minimum of three years of this experience must be in decision-making position. Decision-making is defined as the authority to define, execute, and control projects or processes. Most of you control projects or processes, so I don't see that as being a problem. And to be responsible for the outcome. This may or may not include management or supervisory positions. A lot of my students come in saying, do I have to be a manager to get that uh, uh, decision-making position requirement? No, you do not. You must just be responsible for projects and processes, etc. And candidates must have worked in the, those eight years, must have worked in a full-time paid role. No part-time stuff, paid intern, co-ops are not acceptable. All right, and if you've had certifications in the past, if you already did the Certified Quality Auditor, Reliability Engineer, Supply, Supplier Quality Professional, Software Quality Engineer, or Quality Manager, then uh, just to get into those exams, you've already had to meet these requirements. So if you have those certifications, just let them know, and uh, they will go ahead and accept that. So what have we learned so far? Eight years of experience. That's the big thing right now. Uh, and if you have some education, you can get by with less than eight, uh, eight years experience. For example, if you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, one year will be waived. So instead of having eight years, you only need seven years and your diploma from a technical or trade school. Now, if you have an associate's degree, guess what? You get to waive two years and that gets you down to six years of ex work experience with your associate's degree. Bachelor's degree wipes out half the work experience requirement. So if you have a bachelor's degree, you only need four years of experience. If you have a master's or doctorate, you can waive five years of experience. So that's great. That's only three years of experience left with your master's or doctorate's degree. So it's not an easy certification to get. To get. Eight years is one of the higher requirements for an ASQ exam. But perhaps that's one of the reasons when you get a CQE certification, people or organizations greatly value it. Very powerful certification. Congratulations, you have completed this video. If you have any questions concerning that CQE certification, don't hesitate to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thank you, and have a great day. Goodbye.